Well, we're back. We haven't been on here in like three years together, I think. A long time. It's been a really long time. I know I've done a couple of videos with the girls and that's about it. And we've posted a couple of our vlog videos from 2018. 2018, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, so we're back today because we have some really big news, which I'm sure you've seen from the title. Do you want to tell it? I do not. All right, I'll tell it. So we are moving to Florida. And we're really excited about this. Mm -hmm. I think, right? Aren't you? Yes. <laughs> you put me on the spot there. Aren't you? Yeah, I mean, it's been a goal of ours for a long time to to get down there and, and uh, really been working towards it since, really since we got married. I mean, yeah, it's been a probably a little time. bit after that. That's what we wanted to talk to you about in today's video was the fact that we now are gonna be moving to Florida, kind of how that all came about, our plans that we have when we get there, and we also thought we would talk to you about kind of the the goal, this long-term goal that we've had to get there and how, how it's all kind of finally come to fruition. Yeah, 15 years probably of, of working towards it, so yeah. it's a long time. Why don't you start with what happened? Like you got a call, or no, you got a, a message, right? Yeah, yeah. I just had somebody reach out to me on LinkedIn um, about a job, a unique, opportunity in Lake Wales, Florida. And I thought that was kind of interesting. And I, I get a decent amount of messages like that and just kind of reach back out to them and say, hey, I'm willing to listen. And uh, of all the messages I get and all the all the junk mail that comes through, um, that one happened to work out. Uh, seemed like a good opportunity and mm -hmm. uh, obviously kind of fits the bill on, on what we've been working towards for pretty much our whole marriage. Yeah, we'll be living actually about probably within 15 minutes or so to Disney World, which is cool because we haven't actually been on a trip there for three years now. It's been well, a it was long the month long one at the end of 2018. Yeah, we went for like a whole November month. of 2018, that was, that was the last time we've been there. And I haven't even looked at those videos at all. I haven't posted You've them. You've only done the ones thing. when you and the kids went, right? Yeah, in May. I haven't even finished them. That's and, what I'm saying, we'll yeah. You haven't even touched on no. that other one, yeah. And we'll talk about that too. Um, my chair is squeaking like crazy, just it, ignore that. It is, it's a very squeaky chair. And we're in my office, which has been kind of emptied out, so it's, it might be a little bit a little echoey. Because we're packing, we're packing. We sold our house on- 13 the, days. In 13, 13 days. days from listing go live to accepted offer. So kind of like Florida, um, where we're at here in Texas, uh, real estate market's going nuts. I think in 13 days, we probably showed it 20 times. It, 20 times, exactly, and, yep. And, uh, you know, sold, ready to go. Um, yeah, we had People the moving in are very excited. Um, they wanna be here, and, you know, obviously we're excited we wanna be in Florida. Yeah, and they already did the inspection. We still have to have the appraisal done, which mm -hmm. we're not worried about. And then move out date is February 5th, yeah. right? Closing's first, move out's fifth. Yeah, and Bob's leaving Saturday. Saturday. In two days. Today's Thursday, the 30th of December. Mm -hmm. So I don't know if you can see, if you move your head towards me, Bob, I have a little thing here. It says 37 days till Disney. It's 37 days till we move to Florida. It's really year. hard to do that in the viewfinder. Yeah. Yeah. So we have 37 days left. Actually, that's the fourth. I think we're planning to leave, which yeah. uh, the fourth or fifth. So 36 to 37 days we have left. But either way, we're really excited. Let's see, where did we leave off with information? We talked about you, how you got the job and that will be pretty close to Disney World mm -hmm. and all of that. I wanted to tell you a little story because this is something, this has been a goal of mine or a dream of mine since I was a young girl. The first time that I ever went to Florida, I was 12 years old. My dad took uh, my brother and sister and I down and we went to Disney World, we did Cape Canaveral, you know, Kennedy Space Center, uh, Universal, we kind of did everything in seven days. It was a whirlwind trip, but one evening after we got back from one of the parks, we were walking down, I think it's Earl Bronson, right? That goes yeah, right, 192. Through, yep. right through Kissimmee, and they have all like the restaurants and shopping and stuff, and I was looking up at these really tall palm trees, and it was probably 65 degrees in January, but I was, you know, from Maine, and I was wearing t I was gonna say, would that be fantastic? 65 <laughs> yeah. in January when you came from Maine? Yeah. And so I was in tank top and shorts and I just remember thinking how amazing it was. And I'm looking at these palm trees and I said to my dad, can, do people actually live here? And he was like, nope. what are you talking about? What do you mean? And I said, well, 
do people live here in Florida or is it just like That's a great impression of your dad. <laughs> you it's ask accurate. A, you ask a question just to yell that. Like. <laughs> I love him. Don't yeah. hate me. But um yeah, I I asked him, you know, is this a, just a vacation place? Like I couldn't fathom that people would would get to live in this place where it was warm and sunny and these amazing palm trees. I fell in love with it. That was that's the bottom line. So, when Bob and I met and married, I told him about my dream. Like I always wanted to live in Florida and you had family that lived there mm -hmm. and we'd gone to visit well, them. Yeah, and and we used to go down there every year when I was a kid and that was just like our yearly vacation and kind of the same deal. It was I never really thought about living there just cuz I never plan more than 48 hours in advance. Um, but I always loved it down there. I love the salt water, I love the palm tree, the heat, the sun, all of it. So when we started talking about it, he's like, no, I would love to live there too. And we, I think we vacationed there together when Landon was real young, mm -hmm. right? And then we ended up going quite a few times after that. But we both had this goal. We decided that's it. We're gonna, we're gonna get to Florida one day. Yep. And so how did that start talking about how that happened? Because this has been, once we made the goal, we had to kind of work backwards. Yeah, we yeah. We, well, we basically, yeah, we definitely had to work backwards and say, what do we need to do? And I mean, the first two things were getting my degrees and I finished one degree in 2011, one in 2013, mm -hmm. got a couple jobs that kind of helped me, helped me move along. Um, and then, you know, my, my last job that I've had that I'm currently at really dovetailed nicely into into the opportunity yeah. here and yeah it was kind of i got a little bit of a weird work background and and it, it kind of worked out well it, you know as i interviewed with this company they're like it's exactly what we're looking for and we really have had a tough time finding it so yeah. pretty 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 stoked to to get on board with this company yeah. um and what is it thursday i start monday so yeah pretty so, fast but i think the point is though is that all the things that we've done even though could we have maybe picked up and moved to florida years ago possibly but we wouldn't have been in a financial position to do so it would have probably been a bad move for our family so all the steps that we've taken by you taking the job in texas mm -hmm. and then he took a job in tulsa if you maybe have been with us for a while do you remember our we're moving to we're tulsa moving to video tulsa. yeah they didn't we did. i did they didn't yeah and so maybe that's when i should tell you kind of what happened is he got a job opportunity in tulsa and we were actually we're ready to move we were ready to we, move we, we put, put in an, an offer, offer and had it accepted yeah. on a house in tulsa and well, it was on a contingency and it yes. sold before we got it. What happened was we had, you know, it was a contingent offer. So we had to sell our house first, but we hadn't listed our house yet. So we were in Tulsa, we put in the offer, they accepted the offer. We came back to Texas. We were starting to get everything, all the paperwork done to list our house. The kids and I were on our way to Disney for our May trip, actually. You were going to your dad's mm -hmm. and I was at the airport ready to fly to Florida and I got a call from our agent in Tulsa saying, uh, someone else put, you know, came in and they're buying the house. You have 72 hours to, to sell, sell your, your house. house. Yeah. And we're like, uh, we can't even show it yeah, because we, we were listing by owner. Yep. And it, we, it wasn't even going to be like live. Like the listing wasn't going to be live for 48 hours. So there's no way. Yeah. So it just didn't work out. And then we spent probably six weeks after we got back from Florida looking mm -hmm. at houses. I kept going up to Tulsa with the kids. We would stay. And I was looking at them during the week yeah. and it just, it just didn't work out. We just didn't find anything either. And we weren't in love with the idea of being there. Um, so. You put it so politically correct. <laughs> we weren't in love with the idea of being there. <laughs> well, it's the truth. <laughs> yeah. So Bob spent three, three years, over three years in an little, apartment yeah. in Tulsa. Yes. And so the kids and I would go up quite a bit. I did post a video a while ago of our apartment tour there and we, we were going up and staying mm -hmm. for a few weeks at a time, but then COVID happened and we stopped going. It was, there was nothing to do and we just didn't want to, you know, go up there and just sit and do nothing. So we stayed home and he was coming home a lot more. Yeah. Um, and then you got to come home yeah, permanently. In, in July, I was able to get a new job at, at the company that I'm just leaving now and work from home full time. So yeah. that definitely uh, 
um, ease the burden a little bit, mm -hmm. and no driving, no, you know, additional rent right. up there, which, which was a big Right, thing, that so. was very helpful. So yeah, we kind of haven't really posted too much in the last three years because he was living in another so, state. Yeah. And I was busy here kind of holding down the fort and homeschooling the kids and driving Landon and Emma everywhere because they have, they both are working quite a bit. Emma's been babysitting and Landon started his own landscaping or lawn care business, I mm -hmm. should, say, should say. And then he also um, is working for a friend of ours doing uh, like directional boring. So he's been really busy with that and that's definitely kept, kept me- And then when I was home, we were trying to Trying to do family stuff yeah. because a lot of times I was here as COVID kind of ramped up. I was able to work from home like Mondays, but before that, most weekends I would get home at 10 o'clock Friday night and leave two o'clock Sunday afternoon yeah. Yeah. Um, to make five hour drive back. So I would yeah. be home for 36 hours every two weeks. It was chaos <laughs> for three mm. years. It really was. And during the last two years or a year and a half, I guess, after you spent about a year in Tulsa and then we went back and forth several times like, do we move, do we not move, do we move, mm -hmm. do we not move? We still kept trying to decide if... Depending on what was gonna happen with my job yeah. and where were we going with that. Yeah, and, and then it just, and then with COVID and everything, we were like, yeah. do we just buy a house up there? And then they ended up telling you, cause remember last year, right around this time, we were like, we're gonna move. We're yeah. gonna move to yeah, Tulsa. Yeah, we were looking again. And uh, your boss or Someone else, it wasn't even your boss yet, right? Mm -hmm. Someone said there's a job opportunity, don't do anything yet, you might be able to work from home. Work from home, yeah. So we waited and it worked out. You yep. got to come home and then you've been home for Since six July, months. Since July, so six months, yeah. And got a new job in that time with a yeah. new company. Yep. So that's kind of the, the update of what's been going on with us. The kids have uh, been busy playing uh, tennis, which has been really fun. They take mm -hmm. take private lessons, and they've also, the girls are really big into volleyball now. So we've been doing a lot of more outdoorsy sports instead of- And, the, and that's one of the things we're looking to with, with looking for a house is, yeah. you know, how do we continue that on? Because mm -hmm. they, they're, they're, they're good at both of them, and, and they're both, you know, awesome things for people to be involved in. Yeah, and they, so we've been doing a lot more outdoorsy activities as opposed to what we were doing before all the COVID stuff with like dance and yeah. gymnastics. <clears throat> so now as we're moving to Florida, we're looking for communities that we can buy continue, in yeah. And, yeah. and continue that same lifestyle because that's yep. what we have in our current community. Yeah. So, so yeah, now we're house hunting and trying to decide if we're going to build which we've never gotten to do before. No, we haven't. And then especially now with everything that's going on in the construction industry, a lot of places are eight to 12 months out. So we're kind of kicking that around saying, do we want to wait? Do we, want to, do we want to rent for a year and be kind of unsettled for a year to get exactly what we want? Or are we looking for something that's existing that we can just get into right away? Still pretty undecided mm -hmm. on that. Yes. In the meantime, we have secured a short-term rental that we're going to be staying in uh, 15 minutes away from Disney World. And so we have to get our driver's licenses when we move to Florida so that we can yeah. get annual passes, which they're currently uh, only selling, I think, the, the lowest level right now. So I know, <laughs> no, you can only go during the week. You won't get to go. <laughs> you want to go to, you just told me that earlier. You said you want to go watch the fireworks. On a Tuesday night. <laughs> so we're looking forward to all those things. Are the kids excited about the move? <laughs> Emma is. <laughs> um, I, I think Landon's, he's somewhat excited. Adeline, I think, will be excited when she makes new friends. Yeah. Her concern is she just, she's leaving her friends and yeah. she's 11. And you know, friends that's normal life. for 11 yeah. year old. Like friends she just, she doesn't want to leave her friends that she hangs out with and, and being in the subdivision here, you know, she's able to ride her bike five minutes away mm -hmm. and, and there's a whole group of them, you know, four yeah. or five, six of them that'll hang out together. And it's understandable, but uh, we're trying to get her to understand, hey, you're going to make new friends there. And yeah. it just, when you're that age, like, it's the end nothing's of the world. ever going to be the same. Right. Emma's pretty good with it. I would say she's 
it's bittersweet for her, but that's normal too. Yeah. Well, I think she's yeah. old enough to understand the good stuff that happens there mm -hmm. versus Adeline just looking at the stuff that she's going she's to lose. Gonna lose. Yeah. yeah. And Landon, uh, the only concern he's had is he's like, I've worked so hard establishing clients for his lawn care business. And, uh, but they, they were all very understanding and, yeah. um, and he, he can always, he'll find something that he likes to do in mm -hmm. Florida. And he just started driving. He just got his license. So Ooh, yeah. we didn't mention that. Yeah. Life update. <laughs> So uh, we got to get him a car when we get to Florida. I was really worried about that. We were there for his driving test and he was back within six minutes of starting the test. And I thought, uh-oh. <laughs> I came back and said, no, he passed just fine. He passed, he did a great job. <laughs> we're so glad. Yeah. So that's everything I think, right? Is there anything else you can think of that, we have a few notes here. So I've been looking down a little bit to see if there's anything we're missing. But I think She's we, looking down and I keep looking at the viewfinder. So if mm -hmm. you see me looking up, that's what I'm staring at. No, I don't think so. I, I think a lot of it is, uh, um, you know, still kind of up in the air. We, we don't know. We secured a short-term rental, mm -hmm. which technically we haven't even secured yet. Right. You we know, haven't we, paid for it yet. Yeah, we haven't paid for it. Mm -hmm. So um, We have a realtor there and yeah. he has found us this place. So, yeah. Yeah. so hopefully um, I go down there and shoot a's. Yeah. Know? So yeah, I go down in two days, um, stay at a hotel for a day or two. Um, it'd be great if I could get into that place, um, you know, within the next week or so. And then, uh, you know, you guys will move down beginning of February. Yeah, yeah beginning February. of February. So. Yeah, so we have, we rented, I guess we can tell them that too. Um, we rented, uh, they're not the pod company, but it's similar to that. It's called Zippy Shells. I hadn't heard of them before. I can't hear that even without what smirking zippy shell like zippy shell yeah like really i know i, I want to know the marketing guy who came up with that name well going, when i was talking to him sure? booking the the zippy shells i kept calling them pods and i said dude i'm sorry it, it's just easier because no they did a good job with their marketing um uh, but yeah we we booked a couple of zippy shell pod things and they will be here the beginning of february um we have movers that will help load and make and sure they're packed crazy. properly. Yep. Anything that gets set down and we don't think we're gonna touch it again, gets back. Yeah, and we've also sold a lot too. We're kind of using this opportunity to get rid of some pieces of furniture that we weren't really in love with, but it didn't really make sense to replace it because we're sometimes a little cheap, so we're like. <laughs> we're a lot of times a lot, a lot of time cheap. cheap. <laughs> so now we're like, well, we don't really wanna, Pay to move it and pay to store it. Yeah, it was always it. it was free just to keep it here. Yeah. And now if you got to move it, um, it's costing what are they thirty five hundred bucks a pop? A pop. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. if plus we can, storage, yeah, plus storage. Yeah. So if we can if we can not move it, save us money and, and be able to outfit the new house with with what fits and what we want and what we like. Yeah. Facebook Marketplace has been a really nice tool for that. So yeah. And listing stuff, a few things every day and. Um, Usually people right from our, our neighborhood yeah. um, come and get them really quickly. So yep. yeah, I'm really excited, like really excited. Mm -hmm. I know there's, it's always a little bittersweet. It's a lot of work and yeah. I, I think the hard part for us right now is that so much is still up in the air. Trying to find a house and where can we get what we want mm -hmm. and, and you know. But we have taken a couple of scouting trips this year and the most recent one we were able to really hone in on a smaller area mm -hmm. that we like. Yeah. So we have ruled out places that we know we don't want to live. Usually it's because of the travel time or, yeah. or whatnot. Yeah. So we have narrowed it down, yep. which has been And, and that's, my job is going to be in Lake Wales. And, and one of the tough things is, is that's a pretty rural area down there. And, and there's not a lot of housing directly near that. So because of the orange groves, right? Isn't that why? I everything I've seen is orange groves on the way down right. there. But yeah, it's it, it, there's not a ton that's available which really puts us up towards the Kissimmee, Orlando area. So. Yeah. So that's pretty much it, I guess, for the life update. So. And uh, I might and maybe you guys can let me know if you want to see this, but I might film a walkthrough of our house. It's half packed right now and um, missing some decor, but so you can see Looks where, where, now. We, where we've lived for all these years. Out of my office is torn up right now. We're sitting in my office, and it's the echo. Yeah, it's a little echoey. Um, but we've been 
tearing everything up and I'm trying to sell my gigantic like one of those L-shaped desks so we tore that apart and it's like sitting so in talking about us. the things that we don't want to take with us <clears throat> that was the previous owners apparently didn't want to move it either because it's gigantic mm -hmm. they left it here which has worked well for her but now we don't want to move it either, nope so. nope so that's going but we've lived here six and a half years mm -hmm. it's been a really nice home we've loved it we've been in Texas Seven, seven years, years this month yeah. we just um had our like seven year anniversary here we um got here december 23rd yep. of 2014 yep. we've loved it it's been a great place to live yeah so no regrets no regrets um florida's always been the been the goal though so mm -hmm. that was just you know as that came available it was it was kind of a no-brainer yep let's do it Yep. And hopefully we'll get to film some more videos in the near future. I'll try hopefully. to do that house tour for you so you can see where we've been living the last uh, seven years if you're interested. Yep. And I think that's it for now. So we'll talk to you guys later. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.